Ancient Greeks, Romans, and Jews were known to chill wines and juices as a treat during the summer months. This practice evolved into fruit ices and, eventually, frozen milk and cream mixtures. But it wasn't until the 20th century that ice cream became available to the common man. As the Industrial Revolution brought electric power, steam power, and mechanical refrigeration, the ice cream market grew to astronomical size with an estimated market size of 81.8 billion U.S. dollars in just the United States. So how is it made? The process begins with cream, which arrives at the factory in refrigerated trucks and is then stored in refrigerated silos, kept at a constant 4 degrees Celsius. Because cream is a dairy product, it carries a high risk of contamination through bacteria. Keeping it at a lower temperature during transport and storage helps maintain its freshness and quality. The silos feed a high-speed mixer that mixes the cream with other ingredients. The main dry ingredients are powdered skim milk and plant-based stabilizers and emulsifiers. Stabilizers prevent the ice cream from crystallizing and emulsifiers allow the mix to bond with air during the whipping process. The other ingredients are sugar and corn syrup. After about three minutes of mixing, a pumping system moves the mixture into specialized pasteurization machines. The most commonly used machine is called a plate heat exchanger. It consists of a series of stainless steel plates that are pressed together with gaskets, creating channels for the mixture to flow through. The plates have a large surface area, allowing for efficient heat transfer. During pasteurization, the mixture is pumped into one side of the plate heat exchanger while hot water or steam is circulated on the other side. The heat from the hot water or steam is transferred to the mixture through the plates, effectively heating it to the desired pasteurization temperature. The tanks keep the mixture at 72 degrees Celsius for half an hour, killing any bacteria and activating the stabilizers. Then, the factory homogenizes the mixtures a process that breaks up the fat globules, giving the ice cream a smooth texture. During homogenization, the hot mix is forced through small openings at high pressure to reduce the liquid fat droplets to a small, uniform size. Homogenization is integral to ice cream's smooth texture and prevents fats from churning in the later freezing stage. After homogenization, the base mixture is often aged for a certain period typically several hours to overnight in refrigeration. This allows the flavors to meld and the texture to stabilize. The base mixture is cooled down to a lower temperature, usually around 4 degrees Celsius, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Chilling helps reduce the freezing time and ensures a smoother freezing process. The chilled base mixture is transferred to an ice cream machine, which is a continuous freezer. The machine freezes the mixture while simultaneously churning it, the churning incorporates air into the mixture, increasing its volume and creating a lighter texture. In fact, the volume of the ice cream can increase by 60 to 100 percent simply because air is added. The incorporation of air is crucial. It makes the ice cream softer and slows the melting process. Without air, ice cream would be too hard to eat. The temperature inside the machine is set between negative 5 to negative 8 degrees Celsius, 23 to 18 degrees Fahrenheit. During the freezing process, additional ingredients such as chocolate chips, nuts, cookie dough, or fruit pieces can be added. These ingredients are typically added through specific openings in the machine, ensuring even distribution throughout the ice cream. Automatic filling machines drop pre-printed pint or half-gallon size cardboard cartons into holders. The cartons are then filled with pre-measured amounts of ice cream at the rate of 70 to 90 cartons per hour. The machine then places a lid on each carton and pushes it onto a conveyor belt. The cartons move along the conveyor belt where they pass under an inkjet that spray paints an expiration date and production code onto each carton. After the imprinting, the cartons move through the bundler, a heat tunnel that covers each cup with plastic shrink wrapping. The packaged ice cream is moved to a blast freezer where it is rapidly frozen at temperatures below negative 18 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Fahrenheit. This freezing process helps maintain the texture, quality, and shelf life of the ice cream. It's then transported and stored in supermarket freezers or ice cream shops until it's purchased by customers. I don't know about you, but ice cream is my favorite sugary treat. And if you are wondering how sugar is made, check out this video.